disruption into living conditions at the Omaha Housing Authority, KETV Investigates was flooded with messages, calls, and emails from residents revealing bugs, rats, broken appliances, and one of the biggest issues, mold. Now, with hundreds of units across the metro, several tenants have come forward expressing years of poor air quality. KETV News Watch 7's Kaylee Searcy has more from a mother living in a house owned by OHA. When Tamara Kurtenbach first stepped into her home in 2017, her joy and excitement was overpowered by a foul odor. It smelled musty, moldy. Kurtenbach moved back to the metro with her kids, hoping to bounce back with the support from public housing, but instead she says she spent almost eight years feeling trapped. When low-income families find out that they have black mold in their house, a lot of times they have to deal with it. Her house is known as a scatter site, one of hundreds owned and operated by the Omaha Housing Authority. Kurtenbach says it took two years of work orders, phone calls, and emails to finally start getting help her family needed. They removed black mold from my attic. But she says the problems only continued. Within months, an inspection by OHA showed an emergency health violation. A tube running to her dryer was clogged, trapping in heat. A year later, her house failed again. An inspection noting the dryer vent tube was still clogged, causing, quote, moisture in unit. Kurtenbach says she watched as spores spread throughout her house from the floors to the baseboards. I have an email that literally says in bold letters, help. I have black mold in my home and my children keep getting sick. So these are in the kind of the baseboards of her house. KETV investigates took photos of the mold to the Douglas County Health Director. There's not really any way to hold uh, a landlord accountable, I guess you could say, to making sure that that mold gets cleaned up effectively. Dr. Lindsay Hughes says there are no federal or state laws regulating mold. So if someone suspects that they have a mold issue, we are able to do a visual inspection. But Dr. Hughes says her team will send a letter to the property manager about what was found and provide education and resources. But the responsibility falls on the landlord and sometimes even the tenant because the health department doesn't have the capacity. Whatever is causing the moisture to be present, really that needs to be taken care of before any mold can, can be taken care of as well. Hughes says to file a complaint with the City of Omaha Code Enforcement, but even they are limited in what they can do. Superintendent Anna Beswanazi says it's written as unsanitary conditions, not mold, because the department doesn't have the staff to identify or test it, but if there is a leak, their team can step in. Basically handle the accountability in terms of the repairs. While KETV Investigates was on scene at Curtainbach's house, an OHA maintenance worker showed up. Curtainbach says he informed her a leak might be causing the growth. It's visible to everyone in the neighborhood um, and anyone who walks past the house, so they can never say that they were unaware of it. KETV Investigates was able to obtain reports from 2022 detailing the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, known as HUD, inspected the North Omaha home, along with 23 other properties. Physical damages like chipping paint or missing doors were noted, but no discussion of mold. I closed off the room and forbid the kids to go in there. Black mold exposure known to cause rashes and hives, like documented here in photos Kurtenbach took of her children. After repeated trips to the ER for breathing issues, bloody noses, her own doctor wrote a recommendation letter to OHA with his professional opinion asking OHA to quote, please allow for family to find other suitable alternative housing. He believes that our health concerns are from the black mold in the house. Curtainbach says that request was denied. This is a real human rights issue that we're dealing with, you know. It's a human rights issue because every human has the right to safe, quality air in their home. Kaylee Searcy, KETV, Newswatch 7. Now, the Omaha Housing Authority says the house was inspected in May and, quote, showed no evidence of mold. But maintenance staff did treat the areas with a mold inhibitor. Kurtenbach was just recently transferred to a new home, but only after a tree fell on her roof. OHA says it paid for movers. 